What's up YouTube, 16 year old mechanic back at it again. And today I got a 15 horsepower Johnson 1983. And I've run into a problem that probably every outboard owner has run into, which is the water from the cooling system is either not coming out at all or it's barely just trickling. Now I got a little bit of um, a little bit of a different situation here because I thought originally it was the impeller, so I replaced the impeller. As you can see, you know, I, I ordered the kit, installed it in the lower unit, and still barely any water. So when I took apart the head, the thermostat, see if I can find it here somewhere. The thermostat was completely rusted. And that was what was causing the water not to come out the not, not to come out the outboard and make, making it overheat a whole lot. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna replace the thermostat, replace the, um, the water passage gaskets, and last but not least, I'm gonna replace the head gasket because I already took it out. You know, it's in pretty rough shape. And once you take these things apart, they almost always never seal right when you put them back in. So I was like, might as well just change the gaskets. So as you probably know, I'm gonna show you guys. I already took the entire head apart and I'm prepping everything to put the gasket, the new gaskets on, replace the thermostat and make this thing run perfectly like the good old Johnson. And also so I can have my fishing rig back up and running so I can do some bass fishing. Well, basically here I got the head of the motor and I brought it in to clean the gasket surface and the water passages because the old gasket just stayed on there and it's pretty hard to get off. So I'm going to be using these nylon brushes that I got. Since it's an aluminum head, I don't want to scratch the surface and make the gasket start to leak. So something that I recommend you guys to do is to not use a wire brush because you will scratch the crap out of it and that's not gonna be good because then the gasket won't seal right. But here I got my surface as clean as I could get it with a brio pad. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna put these nylon brushes, nylon brushes into my drill and we're gonna see how much of the old gasket I can get out. So I was able to get it. I couldn't go any farther because I was afraid I was going to scratch the surface. Same same thing back here. I'm pretty sure I could have used the chemical to have helped it out, but this is pretty fine. I, I think I'll just put some gas RTV or gasket maker to just make sure nothing, nothing um, leaks out. But other than that, I think it's ready for the thermostat and the gasket. So I was finally able to get the water thermostat, I put brand new thermostat, RTV gasket maker, all that good stuff. And I was able to get it in there good. It was a pain in the butt though because I put everything together and then I forgot the stupid spring that holds in the thermometer. So I had to take everything back apart. And then when I put it back together, I realized I'd lost one of the bolts. Oh, it was, just, it was just a pain in the butt, but now what I'm, now what I'm probably going to do is going to go ahead and install the head back under the motor, and tomorrow reconnect all the electrics and hopefully see if it starts and it pumps water strong. Alright guys, so I just slapped everything back on torqued everything down I wasn't able to fit the torque wrench so I had to do most of it by feel um, but I'm pretty sure I, was, I got everything pretty even um, so basically gasket job is kind kind of sloppy but that's because I put a, a bunch of RTV because to get that old gasket off I unfortunately had to use a screwdriver because nothing else would get it off so I did scratch the surface a little bit, not on the head, but on the little um, thermostat waterway um, gasket. So that's why I put RTV in there. Now I gotta pray to the good Lord that it doesn't leak. But 
I think we're a-okay. I think it's not gonna leak at all. But I just slapped everything back together as I was saying. Pulled the cord. It, the compression feels pretty darn good. Now the only thing that's left to do is reconnect all the wiring, connect all the coils. But I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow because it's a little late. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow and see if this thing starts up and pumps out water like it should. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, so now I plugged, fin just finished plugging in all the electronics, the computer, the spark plug wires and the coils. And now what we're gonna do is hook it up to the water and cross our fingers that the that was the thermostat causing the problem all right so now i'm gonna start it up have the water hooked up to it hopefully i have enough battery to start it up back here um for what happened last time is that barely any water was trickling out the um out the thing and i was like what in the world's going on so i took it back in um removed the lower unit sprayed a bunch of compressed air into the block and now look how it pumps out water Conclusion guys, the problem was the thermostat and the waterway being blocked. So what some of you guys can take from this um, is if you guys are having the same problem, is that before doing everything that I did, spray compressed air and stay there for five minutes, spraying compressed air, make sure every last bit of gunk or whatever's in there blocking the water gets out of there. Because the problem that I had is that I didn't spray it long enough, the compressed air and it didn't get all the gunk out so when i put the new thermostat in it still did the same pro it still had the same problem so before you do the thermostat and everything that i just did make sure to spray compressed air check the impeller and then if all that doesn't work it's probably the thermostat or one of the waterways inside the blo actual block is blocked with gunk or whatever's in there that, that you might have sucked up through the um through the water intake in the motor but other than that, the problem that I had was a mix of the thermostat and the um, and the compressed air. And I know this because when I would run it full speed, it would pump out water good, but it would cut off, you know, like the thermostat wasn't opening right. So, but now that I changed the thermostat and everything, everything works perfectly fine. And I'm ready to do some bass fishing on my John boat. So other than that, guys, subscribe, like, uh, hopefully this video helped you and see you on the next one.